Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. So I'm going to go out in the garage now. You're welcome to follow along. This stiff bristle brush does a good job. Gets in there and scours out the loose stuff, but it doesn't scratch the inside surfaces of the chuck. I don't remember exactly where I got this one. I think I got it at a gas station. But it's worked well. Well, no stampings that I can see yet. Still have hope that it'll show up. With most of the excess kerosene dried off of it, I can take an air hose and blow out the holes and get rid of the little bits that are hard to get to with a rag. I don't have a lot of pressure in the air hose, just 60 or 70 pounds. I don't want to spray this stuff all over me. Now a part washing tank would be really handy. And that's something I've got my eye out for, but I haven't run across one that was in the price range or available. When I do, you can be assured that I will have one. Going over the teeth with this brass wire brush. Doesn't do any good to wash it and not get all the remains of the swarf out of it. Because all that's going to do is just get pounded down into the chuck scroll or into the gears. I spent a lot of time washing parts. Might be seen as uh, beneath the efforts of somebody who actually ran the tool department. But this is how I learned. Taking things apart, cleaning them, making sure all the bits and pieces were still there, and reassembling them. Still a useful thing. And restoring these pieces of equipment to useful life is always a good feeling. Doesn't take much, hardly anything more than washing dishes. Which is another thing that I do because it needs to be done. And working, no matter what you're doing, it's always a noble effort. Whether you're washing pots and pans or stricking out bent nails or in this case washing out a chuck. And 
Not all work is fun. But most of it is rewarding. And that all comes from you. If you think of work as being something that you have to do and you hate, it makes it a lot harder to just get in there and get it done. You find yourself avoiding work more than doing it. All you're doing is delaying the inevitable because it's going to have to be done. And either you or somebody else is going to have to do it. And if you're one of those guys that would rather have somebody else do your job, pretty soon the world's not going to need you. not notice when you're not there. Now, there's all different kind of ways to clean things. You can put them in an automatic cleaner Nothing wrong with that. I have a dishwasher in the house that I think is one of mankind's greatest inventions. I remember being a, a young boy and one of my tasks was to clear the dishes from the dinner table and help wash them up. Fortunately, there was three of us, three, three young boys and uh, my two younger sisters. So the workload was spread out pretty well. But I certainly didn't want to dry dishes. I wanted to wash. Now you would think washing would be more work, right? It's kind of messy and there's food that you got to touch and get your hands kind of icky. But when I was done and had all the dishes washed, I was done. I could go do anything I wanted. And whoever got stuck drying the dishes, they had to dry off all the dishes that I washed and put them away. So they were still working when I was done. There's advantages to everything. You just have to look for them. Man, this chuck has got junk packed into it all over the place. Stiff nylon brush does a good job of cleaning things, but this has got so much stuff packed into it that I'm having to use the brass brush just to get it cleaned out. Now this isn't something that I'm just going to do once either. Now that I've got this done and the chuck is clean, I have to keep cleaning it. Because if I let junk build up in the chuck, pretty soon it's going to wear out just from having all that stuff in there binding it up. No visible stampings. There are some numbers on it, but they seem to be more numbers for locating the jaws in the proper place, like this is one, two, and three. And then there's 13 stamped here. And this is stamped with 13 also. 
so that we know that these two go together. No names or anything that identifies the manufacturer of the chuck. Wipe out the box so that I've got a good clean pan to carry the parts back downstairs in. Well that's got the chuck all cleaned up and ready for reassembly. I have a few other projects I need to do and some of them involve cleaning. So while I got the setup ready and I'm all dressed for it, I might as well take care of those too. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.